What up, man? It's your boy Chris on Bias Review checking in. Um, just gonna continue my series, man, of giving you a battle rapper and basically recapping their battles and telling you who I think they won and who I think they lost to. Uh, next up is Calico. Um, I just felt like it was only right I did him coming off the arts battle, so I just kind of wanted to get into a lot of his battles. Um, in the Arsenal battle, he said something about Arsenal still being a grind time dude, but he actually got his start on grind time as well. So, I think the first battle I saw Calico, he battled Heartless, who is from Stockton, California. He's a uh, he's a pretty good battle rapper. He's real clever with his bars or whatever, and he is part of Conceited's crew, the whole S N O S N O S O N S gang or whatever. Shitting on niggas squad, I guess that's what it stands for. Um, but yeah, they battled in California, so that, that was Heartless's hometown. And um, I actually got uh, Heartless two, two to one in this battle. So um, he was really clever with his bars. He was saying some dope shit. Calico was saying some okay stuff. You know, he was spitting that gun talk like he always do. But some of his bars were just kind of a reach. Like he'll say shit like. Um, uh, I'll do you like Ray J or you, you'll think you're Ray J and I'll shoot you in that Kardashian like your Kardashian you're in or some shit like that like you know but I definitely felt like Heartless took this battle 2 to 1 Heartless was spitting some shit and then it might look like a fruitcake wear a pink hat you know he kinda got a California little high, high pitched voice but he was spitting shit like this even your rap name's a stupid one. A calico's a firearm, and you don't even know how to use a gun. Well, how about I show him? Does he want to see me from the shoulders? Hell no, this faggot vibe, but if he try, you'll be taking this elbow. You at risk. My handshake when I shoot a palm. No prints, just tips. Now that's how you use an arm. So yeah, as you can definitely see, Heartless was going in on that battle. I liked him a lot. So I, I got him two to one in that battle. I mean, I think next he went to the URL stage. He battled Newborn. Newborn is whack. Like, I don't think Newborn has beat anybody. So I'm not going to even stay on Newborn any for any length at all. He obviously bodied Newborn, so get him out of here. Um, he battled Shotgun Shug. Uh, this was like the battle. This is like one of the reasons why Shotgun Shug didn't come to Detroit. Because in this particular battle, he really disrespected Detroit like very, very bad. And he talked a lot about proof. Since he passed away, he talked a lot about Proof's death and kind of disrespected the fuck out of Proof, to be honest with you. So, niggas was looking for his head when he came to Detroit if he came for that arts battle, which is why he didn't show up. So, I thought he beat Shotgun Shug. I mean, I don't think Shotgun even got around. I don't like Shotgun Shug at all. I think he's garbage. I do realize he not, has beaten some niggas. I think he beat Midwest Miles. Uh, but I don't like Shotgun Shug at all. So I think um, I definitely got Calico winning that battle. So he beat Newborn and he beat Shotgun Shug. I think the next time I saw Calico, uh, he might about K Shine, I think. The K Shine battle uh, was interesting. I like K Shine. He's kind of animated or whatever. So I like him a lot. But. Uh, I got Calico 2 to 1 in this battle. I thought Calico took round 1, Kayshawn took round 2, and Calico took round 3. In round 3, he really got on the moot skin as far as talking about him getting stapled or beat up and out of town or whatever. And moot kind of reacted to that shit, which I felt like made, you know, it showed the vulnerability of their crew. So I thought that that was a bad look. And. Also, Kayshawn stayed on that Terranio, because I guess Calico's name is really Terranio Hightower, so he stayed on that Terranio shit way too long. I mean, everything was, but your name is Terranio, and like he just killed, he just killed that shit too much. So, uh, and even Calico even dissed the hype man, that little light-skinned nigga that run with Dot Mob all the time, that be animated, like he even called that nigga out. So I definitely felt like Calico won that battle two to one. Um... So that's how I have that battle. Then he battled Rich Dollars. Um, this battle was interesting because the first round, he killed Rich. 
He was rapping like Hitman Holler. He was dissing Cortez. He was getting in rich ass. Then round two and round three, he just kind of like, he was just rhyming. Looking up in the air, rhyming. He wasn't even really looking at Rich no more. It was just kind of like he was just trying to remember what the fuck he was going to say. But I felt like the first round was personal shit, wrote for Rich. The second two rounds was uh, just, he was just rhyming, like without a purpose. And I felt like Rich got the last two rounds and Rich ended up winning a battle two to one. Calico said he wasn't motivated to fight Rich. Check it out. Niggas, I wasn't focused, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, when I'm focused, no nigga in America can beat me, dog. Nobody. You know what I'm saying? You gotta, it gotta be a battle that makes me get focused, though. Not battle risk dollars. I wasn't focused. I was focused on other shit. You know what I'm saying? Dropping my pops off at prison and shit. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. Freestyling my, the end of my whole third round against him. You know what I'm saying? Taking the whole mixtape song, putting it as my second round. I only came up with the first round for the battle, and I took it in eight days. You know what I'm saying? Like, Rich didn't motivate me to battle. I wasn't motivated to battle newborn either, but I just got him out of there, but, you know what I'm saying, only niggas I was motivated to battle was really ill, that was the first time being on Smack, I was motivated for that, I was motivated to battle K-Shine, I battled Heartless for the check, you know what I'm saying, I wasn't motivated for that, and I still feel like I beat him, you know what I'm saying, but, niggas got their opinions, but, it is what it is, right now, ain't a nigga in America gonna beat me, ain't a nigga gonna, on earth gonna beat me. Calico was basically saying he wasn't motivated to fight Rich, but I look at this whole battle rap shit kind of like the NBA or the NFL. Like, if you lace up your boots, you lace up your Jordans, your cleats, you step out on the field, you got to perform. Like, niggas not going to take you lightly. Niggas not going to care that you're not prepared. They're not going to care about an injury. They're going to go at you. And if you're not motivated to take Rich dollars, you shouldn't take the battle because it's going to count against your record. And I feel like Rich beat you 2-1. to one. So I do feel like you're more talented than Rich. I feel like you're a better battle rapper than Rich. But Rich caught you at the right time, and he, he caught a win. And, I mean, you know, in the X Factor battle, he addressed that shit. Check it out. Now they got to take a brief intermission. Because Calico put out a blog, but it's some shit he forgot to mention. A dick. He claimed me a real nigga, but I get to see that character. Be a real nigga, just admit I embarrassed you. Cause you was calling me like, which I wanna battle you, so how you wasn't motivated, nigga? You was a challenger. <laughs> So yeah, that's what I'm saying. And I, I, for him to even address it, I thought was a bad look for Calico too, because it was kind of like co-signing what Calico said about him not preparing for the battle. And basically, it was almost like Calico was admitting he realized he lost that battle, but he felt like it's okay that he lost the battle because he didn't really prepare for it. Unbiased review don't think it's okay. Nigga, you lose a battle, you lose a battle. It is what it is. Whether you prepare or not prepare, it's a loss. So, you battle Rich Dollars, 2-1 Rich Dollars. Then you battle Young Ill. Um, this battle was really close. Like, I edged Young Ill in this battle. 2-1 to one also, I thought Young Ill. Calico took round one. I thought Young Ill took the next two. Um, if you look at this battle, like, one, reason, one thing I didn't like about Calico in this battle against Young Ill was... This was the last battle that he was like this. Like, after this, he battled Math and then Arsenal. And he kind of switched up his style. But if you think about Calico, all you think about is gun talk. Gun talk, fighting, shooting, killing niggas. Like, he don't have enough versatility to really be a top battle rapper. Like, up until now, he didn't. Or up until this battle with Young Ill, he didn't. Because you don't really, you hadn't really seen him do a lot of rebuttals. Hadn't really seen him do that much freestyling. Hadn't really seen him do... Like, his subject matter of a rap battle is just two of the same shit. Like, how many times can you talk about a gun, and how many times can you talk about killing niggas? Or how many ways can you talk about killing niggas? Like, he, he's not versatile enough. And in the Young Ill battle, Young Ill give you that gun talk, that street talk, that... Then he do the who is this nigga with the whole story of, story of that. That was when that was came out. 
I just felt like he was more well-rounded and Young Ill wasn't good in this battle either but I just felt like he edged Calico because Calico I mean everything is like killing a nigga like every line like I got a gun for this and I, I'll catch you in your convertible and I pop your top off and I and I shoot through your waves and it's like every fucking thing was a gun talk and I, I hate niggas that's too one-dimensional like I don't I don't respect their battle rap skills and that's why I edged Young Ill in this battle and the interesting thing was when this battle first dropped niggas was all going for Young Ill then Calico battled Mav Hoffa beat Mav Hoffa now when you go back and look at the comments people think Calico won because Calico got more popular and people started to kind of look at Calico a little bit differently because he beat Mav so they went back to this battle and they was like oh I think he got Young Ill I really still think Young Ill edged it 2-1 it was really close though so that's how I have that. Then he battles Mav Hoffa. Mav is like whack to me. Like I can't think of nobody relevant he beat. Calico beat him 3-0. Calico sunned him, owned him, went up to him. What you about six foot nigga, six foot whatever. Like just clowned him, said knock me out like you did that other nigga. I'm I'm in your, I'm in the same spot Dose was at. Like nigga just totally disrespected Mav and just sunned him in his battle. Mav has beaten nobody. Nobody. I'm like tired of niggas dick riding Mav. Like, he lost to Calico, lost to Aver, lost to Rex. Like, who has this nigga beaten that's relevant? Nobody. So, him being, he and him being Mav, it didn't surprise me at all because I never looked at Mav like he was a good nigga. So, niggas put him up there just on the strength of him. Knocking that nigga out in a, in, a, in a battle rap. Like, he got his fame off fighting a nigga in a battle rap. And ever since then, niggas put him at the top. He not at the top. He never was at the top. And the niggas he run with, Howler Don and Conceited and all them. Like, he way under them niggas. Like, they'll kill him in a battle. So, um, that's how I look at that battle. It didn't surprise me that Calico beat him 3-0. You know, it might have surprised other niggas, but I like Calico in that battle. And if you look at Calico in this battle, too, his subject matter changed up. Like, he really seemed like he owned the stage. He really was talking that street shit. He called out Loaded Lux. Like, you saw what more Calico has to offer in the math battle than you did in any other battle. You left the math battle like, whoa, Calico is a problem. When I when I watched him against Young Ill, Rich, K Sean, I wasn't really thinking that about him. I thought he was a decent dude, but I ain't really think he was a top nigga. When he left the math bot battle, I thought he could become a top nigga. So 3 0 Math Hoffa, he killed him. Then he battled Arsenal. I already to review the Arsenal battle. I think Arsenal took it two to one. I'ma tell you why briefly again. Um In battle rap, when you were out of town, dude. You know, because niggas was telling me, oh, well, why are you giving Arsenal props for doing what you're supposed to do when you come from out of town and battle, you're supposed to hold it together. Let me correct you. Arsenal, in my opinion, dealt with more shit than what you see other people deal with. Like, obviously, if you battle from out of town, you're going to have to deal with a biased crowd. It is what it is. Even if it's New York, Atlanta, Chicago, Detroit, everybody liked their hometown. And when you come from another area that's not a part of that area, people are going to look at you. If I came from Atlanta to New York, niggas be like, oh, who is this South nigga? They'll already have they pre, they pre uh, envision of what they think I am before I, I rap. That's just the way niggas are. Like, you know, that's just the way people are. People are biased by nature so it is what it is and people you know always got a predetermined feeling about you before you get a chance to express yourself if they know where you from or what you stand for so Arsenal has to deal with the crowd true but he already knows that going into this battle but Arsenal also had when has a nigga trick trick has a nigga from the crowd completely stop the battle you seen Smack say, hold it down, hold it down before the other niggas. Trick Trick stopped the battle, addressed Arsenal. Arsenal addressed him. The camera panned to Trick Trick like he was somebody fucking important. And then Arsenal got back into his bars without no mess ups, no slip ups. 
then look at how many times Calico has to turn to your mouth and say, yo, chill, Miles, chill. I got this. Chill, chill. Like, it's one thing to deal with the crowd, but you're going to deal with another battle rapper? Like, why the fuck is Miles is a battle rapper? He should know what it's like to spit your bars uninterrupted. But he interrupting the fuck out of Arsenal, which I didn't appreciate. And Trick Trick really disrespected Arsenal with that shit and completely stopped the battle. So you can't name another smack battle where the shit stopped due to a crowd, nigga. So I mean you can you can you can name one. So don't tell me that Arsenal had had to deal with the same shit everybody else had to deal with. That nigga dealt with more. That's why I gave him round one and I felt like he spit some hot shit and he spit it uninterrupted. So we got round one. Calico got round three. Arsenal got round two. That's how I look at that battle. I thought Calico did well. I can't even knock Calico. Calico brought that shit. You should know if you die now, if I take this K out, the whole I'm you the coach put Sue in the game like he spit that shit. But I just like what Arsenal had to say. To put your face on uh before every battle like Rip Hamilton, I'ma rearrange the formation and when I throw a bullet cause you playing safety you can't bust. I just like what the fuck Arsenal had to say better. And I'm almost starting one if that trick trick shit wasn't a damn setup. Like if that nigga I mean how the fuck you don't know that Arsenal knows should like really like the battle where Suge was disrespecting Arsenal I mean disrespecting Detroit and Calico Arsenal was right next to him Calico even called out Arsenal in the battle everybody that watched that battle knows that Suge and Arsenal rode together and that Arsenal was right there next to Suge cheering for that nigga to beat Calico and then you gonna be like you told me you didn't know Arsenal I mean you told me you didn't know Suge nigga my little brother know Arsenal no Suge. And that nigga don't even watch Battle Rap. So, I mean, it almost seemed like you just did that shit just for some camera time. Or who the fuck knows? Maybe you and Calico set that shit up before time. These Battle Rap niggas sneaky as fuck. You can't put nothing past them. So, every nigga claim they a real nigga, but shit. Maybe they ain't as real as they play. So, anyway, Arsenal 2-1. to one. That's the way I got that. So, when you go back and recap Calico, let's keep it real. Lost to Heartless, lost to Rich Dollars, lost to Young Ill, and lost to Arsenal. So that means the really only clear bodies you got, Mav Hoffa, K-Shine, Shotgun Shug, and Newborn. Calico don't really got a good resume, but I still look at him as a top nigga because the way he performed against Mav and Arsenal, he gonna fuck up a lot of niggas in URL. It just is what it is. A lot of niggas can't do what Arsenal did and go in Detroit and beat Calico, in my opinion. So I still, even though his resume don't look as good as he probably think it does, in my opinion, he's still kind of a, a, a nigga that's up there. You know, I don't think he's like top. You know, I don't think he's, I don't know if I got him in my top five, but I know he's definitely top ten. But, uh, so that's the way I have it, man. Unbiased review. I'm going to go through some other battle rappers. They'll be coming out soon. Y'all niggas need to keep it real. Let me know what y'all think. Comment below. Give me y'all opinion.